friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeanette. If you're new here, amazing to have you. If you're not new here, you guys know the countdown has begun to Disney World. My birth is in like eight days. We're leaving in like nine days. I'm I'm just, I'm out of this world, excited. I can't believe that we're finally leaving. I feel like I've been planning this for the last year, pretty much. If you are new here and you love Disney content, you're at the right place. My family and I are about to take a big trip to Disney World. It is a milestone birthday for me, which we're celebrating. We're celebrating my wedding anniversary and it's just our summer vacation. So I'm super excited to go to the happiest place on earth with my family. Um, also, I have extended family coming. It's gonna be a big group of us. I do want to try to go live one of the days that I'm there, uh, maybe at Disney Springs when I'm shopping around and, you know, hauling. Maybe I'll bring you guys along uh, or maybe go live in one of the parks. I still have to decide how I'm going to work that out. So today I'm finally bringing you guys my packing video. I'm going to show you guys um, all the essentials that I'm bringing along. I'm not going to show you each individual item. I did find some awesome items that I am bringing on the trip, like a new backpack, you know, stuff like that. So I will show you guys all those awesome things that I found for the trip. That being said, before I do the packing portion, Portion. I am going to do a little bit of shopping. I'm going to hop into Target, see if they have any new things that I'd like to pack for the trip. Um, there are a couple of essentials that I still need. And then also fall, Halloween, all that stuff is on the horizon. Uh, Penny needs an entire new wardrobe for fall winter i'm starting to do the fall winter shopping for my kids uh you guys know every year i bring you guys that haul so i'm starting to shop for that so i'm going to take a look in target see if they have any cool halloween or fall stuff anyway so shopping a little bit and then in the middle of the video if you're not interested in shopping just scroll over to the middle um if you're just interested in seeing the disney packing uh so let's go inside let's do our thing and then head back to my place and then pack for disney world all right guys let's shop Oh my gosh, how adorable is this Ursula dress? This is in the girls section, not to be confused with the toddler section. Retails for $28 and you get Ursula herself right there. Look at this little um, glittery uh, waistband. Uh, I love it. it, has the necklace there. It's called Disney Villains. Um, that's the brand on it. Again, retails for $28. That is super adorable. All right, friends, this is Halloween. Starting to spot some really adorable finds. Here is Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a little tulle frilly dress and it has the hood on there. Then there you have Jack Skellington himself. I'm hoping they have extra small. I think that one is it because we are definitely going to grab that for Miss Penelope. How cute is this Pokemon Halloween trick or treat shirt? It is a little bit cropped. Um, so if you're not into that for your kiddo, um, you'll probably want to bypass that one. But this one is super adorable. I love the tie dye. They have a mini Halloween section. How adorable. So they have a long sleeve t-shirt here that says, hey boo. Then they have this one here with the pumpkin inspired rainbow. They have a set of Mickey mummy pajamas. And here you have a set of kind of like a skeleton hoodie with these skeleton pants. Wow, look at that for a whopping $29.99. You can send your kid to school with a Stanley tumbler. This is the flip straw tumbler. It is technically in the back to school section, which I think is hilarious because I probably wouldn't spend $30 on a tumbler that might get lost at school, but I do love the colors and I might actually use one of these for myself. Love the orange, love this yellow green one here. That's probably my favorite and love the blue as well. If it's in your budget, go ahead and splurge on it. But yeah, I think uh, that's a great tumbler, but not sure if I'd send that to school. All the fall is making an appearance. Look at the beautiful jackets. This one retails for $40, beautiful olive green. And then they have um, the same one in this, like this copper burnt orange color, which is very pretty as well. Lots of long sleeves, button downs happening, long jeans. Guys, fall is on the horizon and I am here for it. Oh, look at the fuzzy outfits. Okay, so this brand here, Stars Above, this is one of my favorite lounge uh, brands. It looks like they're launching a new fall winter collection and it's like fuzzy soft. Oh my God, these look so cozy. Look at these shorts here. So the shorts retail for $18.99 and they're super like plush and soft. They also have like a crop sweater that can match that. And then they also have the set in black, which I love. I'm obsessed with this little bralette. How cute is this for like sleeping? And then of course they have the long pants, which are gonna be super warm for winter time. So for $29.99, a little bit pricey, I'd probably wait for a sale and they are wide leg pants. So keep that in mind. Um, if you don't like wide legs, you probably won't like that. Really digging this beautiful merchandising in the wild fable section. This seems like almost like athleisure. Um, some of this stuff you can maybe wear for Pilates or yoga. I love this one piece. They do have it in a few colors. They have it in this olive green, um, that yellowish orange color there. And then I love that they have it in a classic black. I might actually give this baby a try and see how it fits. Retail is only $25. Old Navy would probably sell this for 50. So I don't know, I might give this a shot and see how we like it. They also have some ribbed 
bras happening, which I kind of like. I've been so not into underwire lately, and I kind of like these softer bras, especially for just lounging. So maybe I'll give those a shot as well. Oh my gosh, check out these beautiful sweaters by A New Day. I am loving this beautiful copper color. Um, and of course, uh, you can't go wrong with white. And then they also have it in black. I definitely want to try it in this color because I feel like this would be a great fall piece. So I think I'm going to head into the fitting room, guys, because look at all the stuff I got to try. But this baby is coming with me. Oh, I like this merchandising. So this is by Weston Arrow. It's a cute little box. This would actually make a beautiful gift as well. It is a curtain vine light set. So you can string it from anywhere and it's beautiful decor and it has like kind of fairy lights on there. I love this idea. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this little monster set for babies? Well, toddlers technically. Um, I love the knees. I used to get these from Max all the time and I love the matching sweater with the little tongue out. I like that you could tuck the tongue in and zip it. Then they also have this one here, which is absolutely precious with the dinosaur on the sleeve. I might actually get one of these for Penny. I know that they're technically in the boys section, but like, who cares, right? It's a cute sweater. Oh my gosh. So you guys know pickleball is all the rage right now. This sweater is amazing. I love it so, so, so much. I don't play pickleball, but I'd love to play. And this is awesome. All right, friends, welcome back to my place. We are actually in my guest room right now, which is absolute chaos because all of our stuff for the trip is kind of scattered all over before i officially packed everything away i wanted to shoot a little bit of a pack with me video um, i'm not really going to show you guys myself packing but i am going to show you some of the essentials that i'm packing for the trip uh, some things that we can't live without some things that are new for the trip also if you guys are planning a trip to disney world or anywhere where there's theme parks maybe uh, you can take away some ideas from what i'm packing for this trip um, so i'm going to go over uh, some stuff in my carry-on some stuff in the kids carry on um, some packing cubes and great stuff that I found from Amazon a few new items that I got from the brand lug I got a new theme park bag which I'm super excited to show you guys and a few more things sprinkled here and there so I'm excited to show you everything but before we jump into what I am packing for the trip I actually did pick up a few things in the target trip thank you guys for being patient I kind of just made this like a hodgepodge video it I don't know, I probably should have just been pack with me or you know what I'm packing for my trip, but I always gotta sprinkle in a little bit of shopping in there. So um, I did do the trip to Target. I did pick up a few things on this Target run. So I'll show you my little haul before I jump into the packing haul and let's just do it. My Target haul, let's go through it quickly. Um, I found the uh, pickleball sweater in my size. I'm so excited they had it in a large. I don't play pickleball, but I have every fantasy of playing pickleball. I'd love to join a league or something, um, but it says Pickleball Club of Malibu and I just love the cream color with the green. I think this is so cool. And this is gonna be great to kick off the fall season. The brand here says Grayson Threads and the retail was $19.99. I did get the Cat and Jack socks for Max. I pack a ton of socks for my kids for the trip. I'm actually probably not even gonna undo this. I'm probably just gonna pack this exactly the way it is. My kids probably use about two to three socks on vacation because I do put socks with their Crocs only for the chafing factor. Crocs are fantastic and I don't usually have that problem. However, when you're in a theme park, your feet are constantly wet, whether it's raining because it rains in Florida all the time or puddles or water rides, you're just always gonna get your feet wet and that's when they start rubbing on the skin. So I love to put socks on my kids, even if it's with Crocs. I did pick up a couple of back to school supplies, which I will go over more when I do my back to school haul. I am aiming to shoot that before I leave on the trip, fingers crossed. Um, so I'll show you guys this more in detail when I do the back to school haul. I found some really cute Halloween items for Miss Penelope. Uh, this was a cute little set here I found in the toddler section. Beautiful little ruffle shirt with the moon and it has the moon leggings. This is an adorable shirt. We love the show Wednesday. I don't know if you guys have been watching it, but it is such an amazing show on Netflix. Um, I felt like they ran a little bit small, so I actually got her the small in this because I feel like this is sized incorrectly. Um, look how tiny that looks. Uh, this one, um, it says on Wednesdays, we wear black. So it's a tribute to the Wednesday show. And I was super excited to find that also. Picked up some more Halloween leggings. These are also by Cat and Jack and they have cats on there. This is for myself. I might actually pack this for the trip. Maybe I'll wear it for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. I'm a little bit confused on my outfit. I like to usually wear like spirit clothes, right? Like I'll wear something that's um, Halloween themed or, you know, character themed with a spooky vibe. I, I have no idea what to wear that day. This one has skeletons on it and it says keep going. So I thought this would maybe be cool with some accessories. I found this cute little headband that has um, a witch hat on it. It's actually a Hocus Pocus witch hat. Um, so I might actually pick that up and just wear it with this. We'll see, I'm still kind of torn on my outfit, but I like this t-shirt and it's super soft and it's pink. All right, now this I think might actually be part of my travel outfit. I love this crop top. I'll definitely wear a shirt underneath. It got a little bit wrinkled, but it has like a texture to it. 
it has like lines on it and it's like a mesh material. So this is super breathable and I actually would like to use this after the trip for uh, some bar classes. I think this is such a cute fashion-y uh, sports top, uh, but I think this would be great for traveling, super comfortable and lightweight and still cute with these pants here. These are by All In Motion. These are literally like butter. They only had this color in my size in stock in the store, but I love these so much. I tried them on and I went online and I saw that they had a few different colors in my size. So I checked out because the fit and the colors and everything, the texture, super perfect. These are called the mid-rise pant and they're by All In Motion. Guys, they're a little bit tapered on the bottom and they have uh, the tapered leg here. So they're not like dragging. They're kind of like cinched to your ankle, which I love. I love the white mesh top so much that I bought it in this beautiful baby blue. You can't really see the color uh, with this lighting, but uh, there, you can kind of see there. It's like a powder blue, so it's really, really pretty. Gosh, I'm gonna have to steam these again. I had them all crunched up in the bag. Um, so yeah, I got the crop top. Again, I will wear a shirt underneath or maybe if I wear something high rise enough i won't have to on theme with the powder blue um i bought the all in motion leggings to match that powder blue top um i love the lines on this it has like a texture to it now i will say that these pants if you wear darker underwear you might actually see a little bit when i'm in bar class it's most it's all women and we don't really care and i usually wear longer tank tops so it is what it is it's fine these have some awesome features they're moisture wicking flat seams up at 50 plus and quick dry come on guys you can't go wrong 28 dollars this beats Lululemon. All right, so this striped dress was actually an impulse buy. I wasn't looking to buy any dresses, but I think I might actually pack this for the trip. This is by A New Day and it's super flattering. I tried it on actually in the fitting room. They have a little bit of cinching. It's not all the way through, it's just on the side and it's flattering. Usually like bodycon dresses or things that are tight like this and striped, I they're just not flattering for my body type. But this one, game changer, and it's a tank top. It looks black and white, but it's actually navy blue and white. And it's just so flattering on any body type. This is a beautiful dress and it's not too long, not too short. Retail on this one, $22, you can't beat it. They also had it in red, like a Minnie Mouse red. Almost got it. I just stuck to one because, hey guys, we got to stick to a budget. We're taking a big trip in less than a week and we got to save our coin. Also fell in love with this little crop top. I don't know, I've been buying a lot of crop tops, but with the thought of wearing a longer tank top underneath, I'll probably wear like a cream or a white tank top um, underneath this shirt, but I love the white and blue stripe. Uh, this is also by A New Day. I got it in a size large and it retailed for $12. This is Halloween. I can't believe it's here. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I just, I love Halloween so much. I know it's just August, but we are celebrating Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party in literally a week and a half. Um, so I know when we get to Magic Kingdom, it's going to be about four or five o'clock. It's still very hot and the sun is out. So I would never put something black on my kids or even myself because we would literally die. However, when the sun goes down, I might actually change Penelope's outfit to this baby here. I don't know. I have to see how I'm doing with her packing. All right, guys, now into the packing stuff. So we're taking uh, two check bags, right? Two large bags. We're a family of four. My husband is going to take his own carry on with a lot of stuff. And then he'll probably take half a suitcase for his shoes and all that and then the other bag here is also an american tourister um it's kind of just like a rolly bag this one is like a hard case so that's pretty much it for the luggage we're doing two check bags we're flying jet blue so first things first i want to start with the packing cubes because i think that's the most essential thing that we are packing um in our luggage it's just a great way to keep organized and it just keeps everything compact and i feel like you can actually maximize the space so i found these on amazon i will link them below i'm not really sure on the brand um you know amazon always has kind of like off the wall <laughs> um, brands and items, but it says I I'd sort. There's the thing there if you want to screen grab it. This was a pack of six or eight. I believe it came with six or eight packing cubes and it came with two colors. You can pick two color options. They had more neutral ones if you're, you know, into navy blue or black or, you know, you want to keep more to serious colors, but I love the brights. And most of the stuff in here is for my kids anyway. So I went with the green and the pink combination. So there's three sizes to the cube. Yeah, so it's six because there's three and three, three green, three pink. Um, there's three sizes. Um, this is the bigger one. I literally fit all my son's clothes in here all his clothing his swimsuits everything fit in here and then i have a smaller one that's like this size with all of his underwear and socks the medium one i literally have penny's clothing in here most of her stuff is in here i might just have um another medium size one with the rest of her underwear and you know all the other stuff that she'll need her stuff is going to fit into two cubes so how genius are these packing cubes and they're going to fit so nicely in the luggage also a couple things i'm throwing in the packing cubes um are water shoes these are barely used i bought these at walmart 
Um, these are by the Newts brand. They are fantastic. They fit my kids. Wonderful. And Max actually has wider feet. So um, this is the pair that Max will be taking. And this is the pair that Penny will be taking. All right. So in terms of my carry-on bag, I will be taking this Lug bag, which I've had for a few years now. They continue to make this style. It's called the Puddle Jumper. This is one of the best bags that I own. I actually own two of them. This print is discontinued. I don't think you can get it anymore. Uh, maybe you can, but they have different prints. So all good if you don't. It has tons of pockets, guys. Like, side pockets here for drinks uh, tons of storage it has two front pockets here a slit pocket here a phone pocket the front pocket here is enormous it has a back pocket here's the kicker on this bag uh, it has a shoe compartment so you literally see this mesh here um, you can fit a pair of shoes in here and it's not contaminating the rest of the stuff in your bag which I think is brilliant I always pack a pair of flats or flip-flops here because sometimes when you're flying your feet swell you want to change your shoes out you get uncomfortable um, so this is a brilliant design and that's why I love the puddle jumper all right my theme park bag it's so bright it's like I feel like it's blowing out the camera guys it's like really bright it's like super orange and pink so this is also by lug I love this brand so 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 much um this is a smaller version of a backpack that they make um and they've been making for a couple years i'm assuming so they made a smaller version and i said wow that is perfect for the theme parks so it does have two drink pockets which is fantastic oh here's my tumbler we'll talk about that in a bit um so you can fit your water and whatever you need we're also going to take a, a packable backpack which is where i'm going to keep my kids extra clothes a towel sunscreen all that good stuff this is kind of just my theme park personal bag where i'll have my own personal sunscreen uh just you know feminine products whatever I need throughout the day guys you know us mamas we need our own space we need our own bags um, I need my own water look at the print on the inside how cool is that liner I love it it does have like a plastic little slip pocket here then in the front it has two zip compartments here so you know you can put your hand sanitizer you can put your cream anything you need chopstick it actually has a little pocket here too um, if you want to put sunglasses in here it does have like that liner so it's um, gonna protect any screen or sunglasses all right Right. yes the tumbler I had to go with the fluorescent tumbler to take for the trip so I always bring tumblers um, for the trip even though we purchase the ones that they have available so if you stay at a Disney Resort they usually have um, refillable mugs that you can purchase for I think $21.99 the price went up guys in the last two years they used to be $19.99 I believe now they're $21.99 but this this is supplemental so in this baby I am going to put ice and water every night I always have water by my nightstand so I am gonna take a Stanley cup you know one of the smaller ones maybe the 30 ounce and then this guy here will be in my pocket for the airplane once you pass security they always have the refillable stations like the water stations so i'll be able to fill this baby with water and have water for my flight this is from starbucks last collection last tumbler collection for the summer i bought the orange one as well and then i got the neon yellow with the purple i'm obsessed with this one i'm so sorry guys i feel so bad i showed this bag around easter time i put this in my son's easter basket um it is an adidas bag backpack they did a collaboration with lego and it sold out right when i posted the video and i was so bummed out because so many people wanted it uh, but this will be my son's carry-on bag uh, max is going to carry his own bag um he's going to have his ipad in here his little fire amazon fire um he's going to have two different tablets because you know batteries drain and all that stuff so um, i'm not going to show you all that you guys know what an ipad looks like but i love this bag i can fit tons of stuff in here i actually already started packing his snacks which will go in there so i've got hippies in here well these are snacks for him and for penelope um z bars hippies goldfish chewy bars all that good stuff so this will fit in here along with their headphones for entertainment so for penelope we're going to disney guys we got to have disney themed headphones actually they got these for um over christmas and easter i believe um so penelope has her wireless Encanto headphones which we found on amazon.com i think these were gifted to her actually by my grandmother and then uh, max has the light year headphones which are also bluetooth wire free uh, but they do come with the wires or the cables whatever you want to call it if you prefer to connect it to the device uh, but we charge them up and leave them wireless because it's just easier can't forget my entertainment so this drew magazine i've been holding on to it i picked it up at walmart a few weeks back and i haven't actually even opened the cover um i figured i'm just gonna stash it in my airplane bag and then just have this for the plane to read and then i always bring a book just in case for poolside i know the kids are a lot of you know handling but we're gonna have grandmas and grandpas and aunts and everybody's gonna be on this trip I have tons of family coming so if I can have a little bit of time just to hang out by myself I'd love to read a little bit of a book and what book is more appropriate since we are going for Disney 
Disney's Not So Scary Halloween. This is Timber and the Nightmare Before Christmas. Long live the pumpkin queen. So this will be my form of entertainment when I want to, you know, read a little bit. Lug, lug, and more lug. Can you tell that I love the brand lug? All right, well, I've accumulated a few pieces over the years. Actually, a lot of this is recent. Who am I kidding? Uh, but this is going to be great for the traveling. So I think I showed this to you recently. This is a set of two pouches that you're getting. Uh, this is a great uh, bag if you're traveling with hot tools, right? You can fit your blow dryer in here or a curling iron and it's pretty cushioned on the inside so it's going to protect your um, items as well. But I'm actually going to use this for uh, personal items for myself, um, which I love. I love the color on this. Look at that pretty beautiful blue. And then the set comes with the toiletry bag, which is fantastic. It's a little bit on the flatter side, but you can fit, it's deceiving. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. And I love this because it has the plastic liner. This is wipeable clean. Um, if you have a little bit of a spill in here, it's all good. It also has the zipper pouches. So the stuff's gonna be secure inside. So if you do have a leak, it's kind of contained in that area. This is also by Lug. I think I'm gonna use this for the kids' toiletries. I have all the toiletries packed in one bag right now, but I'm gonna divide it just so it's easier so that I know every Everything that's in here is for the kids and then everything in the other bag is for my husband and myself so this is also by lug I love it because it actually looks like it has a little face um, but these actually snap and then it has a top zipper again very generous space and then it has the handle here so this is an amazing toiletry bag this one right here this one is all mine I love this toiletry bag I love the butterflies on it it is also by lug this is actually where I have all the toiletries packed in right now if you want to look in there it's kind of insane right now um, I have everything in here guys I have the sunscreen sticks oh this is a fancy one shishito uh, i love this stuff it's expensive it's 30 dollars. this thing is so expensive but shishito is such an amazing like face brand they make such good products and it goes on clear it's spf 50 plus so i'm excited to use this to feel fancy by the pool but yeah that's by shishito and i'm excited to own this again guys i have all sorts of stuff in here we're good with like lysol clorox wipes i have hair clips in here i have all the hair ties that we would need um, my kids toothbrushes because i'm just going to take new ones for them to use i have sunscreen sticks this is by banana boat if you have kids that are squirmy and wormy these uh power stay sticks by banana boat are amazing they're spf 50 and they're sport so um they'll be fine if they get a little bit wet won't run into the eyes and it's easy to apply you literally just grab your kid Swipe it on like deodorant on the face and they're good to go. Ooh, I forgot about these. These are amazing. So these are Purell uh, little snap pouches. I found them last year when we took our trip to Disney World last August and Target had them again in stock. These are amazing because it's just easy. You take one little pouch out. I don't usually like to be this wasteful. I'd rather just buy a big bottle. But for traveling guys, who's going to travel with a big bottle with a pump, right? So these things are kind of essential. But in the theme park, when you get off a ride and you're like, oh, I touched something sticky. These are amazing. You just pop them open. You got your Purell. Floss sticks for Mr. Max. My kids, you know, they already started flossing. Oh, this is a new one. This is by Coppertone. Uh, this is SPF 50 and it's a fun roll-on. It's a roll-on SPF um, and it's blue, but it goes on clear. Um, so yeah, that's a new find. So we have our Listerine, our mouthwash, our Tylenol, super essential. You know, once you're hitting a certain age, the rides after a while and the heat, you're like, where's the Tylenol? Where's the aspirin? I need something. My contact lenses and of course I'm going to take a spare pair of glasses because you just never know if you lose a pair you just gotta be ready for it and come on how can you enjoy your trip if you can't see right this is also by lug it is a travel bag i love this one because it has the hanger detail so you can hang this like at the hotel rack which is amazing right in like the closet area so i am taking full-size items shampoo conditioner for the kids um the resorts that we're staying in they do provide amenities so shampoo conditioner soap we will have that stuff there i do like to bring my own conditioner usually because like after the sun and uh, the chlorine, the swimming pool, my hair gets really, really dry. So I pick up a few things like this. Like I have like four or five of these. Um, so I'll keep these in the shower there. And as you know, when I get out of the swimming pool after shampooing and conditioning, I'll do a deep conditioning hair mask just to make my hair a little bit softer after the chlorine. So we'll be packing that. But for the most part, um, a lot of the toiletries that I'm bringing for the kids, like look at this guys, this is full size. I'm taking a full size body wash full-size uh, shampoo conditioner we will use most of it when we're on vacation the kids get a lot of baths during the day because they're sweating they're hot if we take a break they'll get a bath if they're out of the pool they'll get a bath so we're going to go through a lot of this stuff and we're going to be there for like 12 days and then of course i got a leave-in conditioner for both of the kids again the chlorine if it strips my hair it's stripping the kids hair um so i got some extra conditioning for their hair so they have nice locks for the theme parks can't forget the tide okay so i know this is a massive bag but I'm gonna do laundry. I, I know I said one time, but I think 
before we leave the French Quarter, Port Orleans, I'll do a load. And then midway through, I'll do another load of laundry. Um, and then my mom will be there. She always does laundry. So these will be used up. I'm going to tell them, don't bring detergent. I have plenty of it, but I am packing the Tide Pods because we need them. These are the sunglasses I'll be taking. Well, I'll probably take a, a second pair, uh, maybe like a darker pair, like a black or tortoise shell. Uh, but these are like pink, so they're a little bit more fun. These are by the Blender brand. Um, these were super popular. I forget what they're called, Cove something. Um, and I saw them on social media actually, and I was a sucker for them. I love them. I just love the pink so much. So I figured um, these are a pair that I'm gonna pack for the trip. Um, and I love them. They fit nice. I wore them out a couple of days and I really enjoy wearing them. Um, so these hats I found on Amazon, I showed these in a previous this video if you're new here you probably wouldn't have seen it but these are called pony flow I love it because you can put your ponytail and it doesn't matter the height I always have problems with hats because the height of my ponytail I'll, I'll have to like undo my hair or bring it down these are adjustable so you literally undo the velcro and wherever your ponytail is it's gonna work so this color amazing and then of course I had to do a white for by the pool because I got a white swimsuit this year and I'm so excited to wear it these are like breathable they're mesh they're very lightweight so highly recommend these. Again, I'm not sponsored, guys. I'm just showing you some really cool stuff that I found for vacation. So I will, of course, link these below uh, in the description box of this video if you're interested in picking these up. They have tons of colors too. Oh, I love these flip flops. Okay, so I found this brand called Spenko. Well, I've known about them for years. Um, they sell them on QVC and a, a few other places, but they're like orthotic shoes and they have like the, see that ridge there, that bump. Um, it, I don't know what it's called, the medical term, but kind of does that pressurized thing. So it's actually very good for your posture, very good for comfort. So I decided to grab a pair and they are amazing. I love them. They made like a limited edition um, in this pink. I like that it says sand everywhere. So they're very beachy and I love that pink and orange combination so I'm definitely packing these for the trip these are great for poolside I might even rock these at the parks who knows I did pick up a wet bag. I got this on amazon.com. These are amazing if you have um, a wet swimsuit that you have to pack in a bag where you have other dry stuff. So this will keep everything contained and it has Ariel, right? With the Little Mermaid's on there. Of course I had to grab it. She's like Penny's new favorite. So um, this is by Disney Baby, got it on Amazon. These are great for traveling with wet stuff. Lululemon, oh my God. Okay, so I think this is gonna be my wallet. It's not technically a wallet, but I love it so much. I have the black version of this um, and I use it for bar. I throw my car key in here, just a debit card, some cash if I need it, my ID and I'm good to go. I think this is amazing for traveling. I love it because you can actually secure it. It has the carabiner, so you can clip it to the inside of your purse. So it's not going anywhere. I actually have a bunch of stuff in here. These are all the kids gift cards that they got between Christmas and their birthdays. Guys, they're stacked. They're like ready to shop. Um, so I might actually use this for my wallet. Let's see, uh, but Lululemon really this color over the summer and I fell in love with it so I ordered it and it's like a mini backpack so yeah I think this one has to come with me I think I showed this in a previous haul but I'm packing it and it is something that I picked up particularly for this trip this is by casemate it is a phone case that's for poolside or the beach it's waterproof uh it is kind of like a little water casing for your phone I have the iPhone 14 pro not the max the smaller one and it fits perfectly in here it fits even better if I take the case off which I don't mind doing it's easily popped off but um I thought this was great because since I have the kids and I also like to video and take pictures with my phone this will give it some extra protection from the water and I like that it has the um, neck strap here so I feel safe with it of course we're taking tons of sunscreen we got the regular stuff I'm not gonna show you all the banana boat because you guys have that in your regular store right but these are special these are by the Kula brand uh, these are pina colada I picked these up at Ulta um, they had a little bit of a sale so I got a couple more because I love traveling with these SPF 30 and these are great like if your main sunscreen you feel like it's wearing out or you're sweating a lot you kind of just want to take something out of your bag and then just spray your face down and they smell really really nice all right a couple more items here so I have I'm just showing you one but this is a pack of cooling towels I am bringing four of these one for each of us I've had these for this is going to be the third time that we use these third trip these are a godsend when it's 100 degrees and so humid and you just need some relief. If you run these underwater in the bathroom or in a fountain, you know, like a water fountain, you wet it. It doesn't matter if you have it over your neck for five minutes and you're radiating. They keep cool. It blows my mind. They definitely work. 
I turned my family onto these. I was like, trust me, buy the cooling towels. They work. And they were like, thank you so much. They really saved us on those really hot days. Get a cooling towel. If you buy them at Disney, they're going to be like $20, $18. If you buy it on Amazon, you can get a four pack for like 11. So, you know, you choose how much you want to spend. Rain, 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 rain every single day. It's going to probably rain every single day. It's almost like hurricane season there also. Um, so I always bring ponchos. The ponchos in Disney, they're super cute. You got Mickey on the back, but they're expensive and then kind of disposable right are you going to carry that for 10 days um so i found these on amazon um there's the kid size and then the adult size it was a huge pack like this is not even half of what came in there so i always pack ponchos just to have extra my mom kind of recommended she's like oh you should bring toilet seat covers since both of the kids are kind of you know they're using the bathroom and you know it's icky the theme park bathrooms it's such high traffic um yeah you can clean and you can you know but sometimes it's a little bit messier than you like so i figured i'll just get a pack just to have them they are disposable toilet seat covers and i like them because they have a little sticky on the back so you can stick them to the toilet seat and they won't move so the kid can sit on it and you don't have to worry about it shifting or putting toilet paper down you know that doesn't really work because by the time they sit on it, it's like shifting or falling on the floor. My iridescent gap bag. Okay, I'm in love with this bag so, so, so much. I haven't even used it because I want to use it exclusively on my Disney trip. So um, I figured for by the pool, this would be a great bag. I can put the kids' towels in here, sunscreen, everything that we need. We're going to have quite a few pool days on this trip, probably about four or five, um, even in the morning before we go to specific theme parks. So I thought this would be so cute to just use poolside and also... When I buy way too much stuff, because that's what's always going to happen, it always happens, uh, I have an extra bag to put all my Mickey Halloween swag in for flying back home. I always bring towels for the kiddos for the theme parks. Now, your resort, you're going to have tons of towels in the room. You're going to have towels by the pool. They're endless. You can take as many towels as you want. However, when we get to the parks, we rent the big double stroller and they're hard and uncomfortable and sometimes the kids fall asleep or they're wet and they want to dry off but then they also have something that they can lay on now that i'm thinking about packing the backpack uh one more lug item how can i forget this item um so this is a packable backpack this is a backpack that's right um it's not going to be like the best quality it's not going to be a backpack that you're going to put your laptop and you know when you come back home use it for back to school this is literally just to fit your essentials and it's packable which is this big selling point for me so this is going to be great in our luggage look how much space it takes and then you open it up and it turns into a backpack look how cool that is they have tons of colors, they have tons of prints. It even has um, little pockets in the front. So you have the two pockets here and then the big pocket here. It kind of looks a little bit like the puddle jumper uh, bag that I showed you earlier. Um, it's thin, but I can fit everything in here. I can fit the towels, I can fit sunscreen, I can fit their water, I can fit their snacks, I can fit an extra pair of clothes in here. You'd be surprised how much you could fit in here. So between this and then my theme park little backpack, I think we'll be good to go. Love lug and I love the packable bags. One more item that is lug, and I think I'll probably end it here because I pretty much showed you everything for the trip. I'm not going to go through all my clothes. You'll see my pic. I'll, sh I'll post pictures. You guys will see some of my outfits. Um, last lug item that I am going to show you um, is this here. It's a tote. And do you see how flat it is? So I'm literally going to put this in the luggage. And I love this for laundry. I'm literally taking this for laundry because there's four of us and we're going to be sweaty and, you know, getting out of clothes. So we're going to be able to put all of our clothes in here then midway i'm going to be able to take this to the laundromat do all the laundry fold everything put it back in here of course i always wipe it down before i put clean clothes in there and it's perfect guys penny just reminded me i literally forgot the most essential thing we're taking on the trip our magic bands um so these are the three that we're taking uh penny has the little mermaid i have an exclusive halloween one from last year which has the hocus pocus witches and jack skellington and max has Lightyear, which is super super cool so my husband has a pizza planet one from toy story um which he has somewhere stashed away he has to set it up okay so those are our magic bands i'm excited to bring you disney content i hope you're ready for the ride i am going to bring you guys along as much as i possibly can uh, without interfering too much in the family time and if you haven't subscribed and you're new here please consider hitting the red subscribe button also hit the bell icon so you're notified when i release disney videos if you're ready for that um and thank you so much for being here oh my god how can i forget this item i am always so hot these little fans i found this one like three years ago on amazon it still works and i love it because you can put water in there look at that you can fill it with water so it spritz you and it's rechargeable no batteries amazing i'm gonna pack this baby and thank you guys for watching i'll catch you on the next one